Welcome back guys. So today we're going to having some bone-in chicken thighs. My name is RJ and this is Beginners Barbecue Outdoors. Today we'll be doing bone-in chicken thighs and I've never done bone-in. I do get a lot of questions when I do the boneless chicken thighs. This is the same time as the bone-in. Be honest with you guys, I've never done bone-in on the smoker. So I figured why not go ahead and try it. This is the bone-in thighs. We got this from Butcher Box, so I figured why not go ahead and do bone-in for the first time. Now for the rub of choice that we're using today, we're gonna to be using for the first time Percy's Barbecue Rub. This is their farmhouse blend, and this is their all-purpose for every type of meat we're gonna be using. So they went ahead and reached out, said, hey, we wanna send you some rub, and I'm, all, I'm always up for some new rubs. Uh, like to try new rubs, because you never know, you might find that perfect rub out there. And as you guys know, I like to use Killer Hogs and Meat Church, and I'm, also, and I'm always looking for that next one that I can add to my list. So I'm very excited to try their farmhouse blend. And so with this chicken, I think it'd be a perfect combination for that. So once again, like I said, a lot of the questions is, are the bone-in cooked the same as the boneless chicken thighs? Now you cook them the same, but the time is gonna be different. Now, normally when we do the chicken thighs, we go to 165, same as the chicken breast, 165. Now, when, you go, when you're doing the bone in, you go higher. Now, this is coming from all pit masters out there and a lot of videos that you'll see of different people, they like to go higher than 165. Now, the sweet spot everybody likes to probably be at is 175 to 180 for the bone in. So of course, going that high, the time is gonna be a little bit different from the boneless. So this is skinless. I took off the skin, because I think it's better without the skin when you're smoking. So I also have some vegetable oil that I'm gonna add as a binder, but, and we're gonna be using our farmhouse blend. So we're gonna go ahead and add some oil on these bad boys, and we're gonna do all both sides. So we're gonna go ahead and add the rub on the bottom side first and we're just going to go ahead and add a nice amount of this farmhouse blend from percy's barbecue and so I, every time i open a rub i always open it up and i smell it this one had a good smell to it so i'm really excited uh, to see how this would taste and we're going to go ahead and add it everywhere Now we're gonna go ahead and flip it, and we're gonna do the same all around. Make sure we get every part of the. So remember when you guys add the rub, tap it in, don't rub it, just give it a nice tap to your meat. All right, now that we're done, we're gonna go ahead and just transfer our chicken, our grill grates here. All right, now that this grub, this rub gave it a nice color to them. Uh, they have a nice color to them. They smell good. I'm really excited to try what this is gonna taste like. So normally I would add some barbecue sauce to my chicken, but today I'm not gonna add barbecue sauce. I'm just gonna just leave it the way it is because I really wanna taste the flavor of this farmhouse blend. So I'm not gonna add no barbecue sauce so I can have the full taste of this. The way we're gonna do this on our pit boss is gonna be at 325. So we're looking at maybe I would say no more than two hours, but we're gonna keep an eye on them. Once they hit about 175 to maybe 180 internal temp, then we're gonna go ahead and bring these bad boys out. I am ready to go, go ahead and try this. So let's go ahead and fire up our pit boss. All right, our pit boss is 325. Let's go ahead and add these bad boys in here. And we will be back when it hits 175 degrees internal. All right, they've been there for one hour. Let's see where they're at. Man, they look good. So we're about 165, this is 155. So it seems like we're in the 165, so 
We're gonna let it roll for another 15 minutes. I was, I will say another 20 minutes and we'll be back. All right, another 20 minutes have passed. So total time so far has, has been an hour and 20 minutes. Chicken looks amazing. Let's go ahead and uh, ready to come out. All right, let's go ahead and bring them out. Yeah, we'll be back. All right, guys, so here we have it. And my God, this smells really good. Um, even coming out to check on the temp, you can smell it already. So I'm very excited to try this rub. But before we get into this, let's have a quick recap of what we did today. so here we have it so remember guys when you're doing the bone in you always want to go at least 175 so you can go 175 and 180 are the sweet spots for bone in chicken now they're boneless like the breast uh, boneless thighs those ones 165 you're good some people like to take them to 170 and also great now I am ready to try this and, and this by the look of it I mean it looks amazing and we didn't flip them or anything we just let we just set it and forget it and then just come back and see how it is but wow does this look good all right guys here we go That's some great flavor. I am glad I did not add no barbecue sauce because I think it was gonna overpower it with so much flavor and I just figured not using barbecue sauce so I can really taste how this rub tastes and it did not disappoint. This is amazing. Oh, wow. Wow, Purchase Barbecue, you guys have a hit. Mm. Wow. Holy smokes. I mean, I am positive that you guys are gonna like this rub. I mean, it's, oh wow. I'm gonna stop eating it. Definitely adding this to my mix. Um, I'm doing some baby back ribs. I'll be adding this to that too because it passed with the chicken. Amazing. This is amazing chicken now. Well cooked, delicious, no sauce needed. Man, I give this 10 out of 10. It's really good, great flavor to this. Um, wow, props to Percy's Barbecue. You guys did an amazing job with this. And I, this is one that I, I do recommend. Uh, this is bar Biggest Barbecue approved, it's great. Uh, definitely would want more of this, cause wow. So this has been adding to my rub list. You guys will see it here a little bit more often. Especially on the next video, I think, uh, coming up soon is be some baby back ribs uh, with some cherry jalapeno uh, sauce um, that I got from Heath Rouse. And we're gonna add this rub to it and it's gonna be perfect. I cannot wait for that. Hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to this channel because there's a lot more great videos coming. Uh, there'll be a link in the description for the Pit Boss. If you guys wanna check them out, pellets and everything. And once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time.